Hi, my name is Austin Lutz. I'm an automotive instructor here at Dunwoody College of Technology. And today we're going to talk about pickup coils and Hall effect switches as they pertain to the automotive systems in most vehicles today. The first system we're going to talk about is a pickup coil. There's a couple things you need to understand about pickup coils. The first is that this is an analog signal. If you don't remember analog signals, please refer back to the previous video that talked about digital and analog signals. As you remember, analog signals are also a AC voltage. They can be measured with frequency and amplitude. A pickup coil is basically a magnet wrapped with a coil of wires acting as a conductor and a, some sort of a reluctor wheel. If you remember from mutual induction, this is similar to that. However, we don't have a magnetic field collapsing onto another conductor. We have a magnetic field from a permanent magnet collapsing onto a coil of wires. As this reluctor wheel spins, it cuts the magnetic field that's being created by this magnet. So that magnetic field comes out here, comes out here, comes out here. And as it's cut by these blades, that sends an AC voltage into the conductor or the actual coil, which then routes the AC voltage out of the system. There are two ways to test this. We can either look at it with a voltmeter connected to the pickup coil as an AC voltage. This would be a dynamic test. If we test the pickup coil with an ohmmeter, we'll be conducting a static test by measuring the resistance within the coil. If we find that there's an open, we can instantly say that this coil is not working. However, if there's good resistance, there may be another problem, such as a cracked magnet, a worn out magnet, perhaps the shutter blades on here are not working properly, and we wouldn't get an uh, AC voltage out of this system. So we need to make sure we're doing both of these tests and not relying on just the resistance test. We need to be doing the dynamic test, which is the better of the two tests, to test this type of system. The important part of this is the vehicle does not need to have power to this coil, nor would there ever be power to this coil. It creates its own power based upon the induction process through the magnet, the reluctor wheel, and the coil. Over here, we're going to talk about an, a Hall effect switch, which, if we remember, is a digital signal, DC voltage, we can measure it frequency and duration. We can measure it in frequency with your DMM set to a frequency scale. We can also measure it in duration using a scope of some sorts. However, out in the industry, you're probably not going to have a scope. However, if you do, you can measure that way, but you will all have DMMs to measure it with frequency. The Hall effect sensor is a pretty complex thing from the outside looking in. But once we talk about it, it becomes very simple on how to test it and how it works. The Hall effect sensor is basically a magnet that creates a magnetic field as that comes out here. As that magnetic field crosses the Hall effect switch, it creates a, a signal voltage. But it has to be powered. So we have power coming in, we have to have a ground, and we have to have a signal. So what we can test for is, does this sensor have a power and a ground and we need to have a signal. We won't have that digital signal on or off if we don't somehow change the magnetic field that's crossing here. And we do that by having shutter blades cross the magnetic field, and because of the permeability of the shutter blades, it routes that magnetic field. Instead of crossing the blades, it routes it through the blades. So the magnetic field comes out through the blade, and back to the magnet, because magnets need to have a recirculating pattern of magnetism. It's through this process that we get it to turn on and off as the shutter blades rotate with whatever they're connected to. In both cases, the shutter blade and the reluctor wheel are going to be connected to something that spins in the engine, whether that's a distributor, a crankshaft, a camshaft, or anything else. So that was your overview of Hall effect sensors and pickup coils. Hopefully that answers all your questions on that. For any continued information, please talk to your instructor, myself, or refer to your book and manual. Thanks for watching, and we'll continue in the next video series, which is the final overview of the ignition system and all of its components tied together.